mushroom clouds snake skyward, hurling the atom's deadly radiation high into the heavens. Okay, this is the aqueous solution. I'm going to pour this in here. And that aqueous solution contains the acid, the diacid. And this is a solution of the hexane diamine. It's dissolved in hexane, and hexane is less dense than water. So this solution is going to float on top of the other one. And then where the two solutions come together, the interface between these two solutions is where this reaction is going to take place. How many fingers do I have? Anyway, here we go. Thought maybe these were gloves for another species. Here we are. Okay. So I'm very carefully going to pour this down the side, and then where the interface is, we'll have contact between the diacid and the diamino uh, hexane. And the hexane layer is floating on the top here. But of course, where they come together is where the polymer can be made, where the condensation reaction is happening. So then I'm going to reach in here, and where the interface is, I'm going to pull out some nylon. So here we go. Now we'll see how much nylon we can pull out of this thing. There's a meter or so. <laughs> Two. Uh, there are records set for this. And uh, so I think it's actually in the Guinness Book of Records. I'm sure we're going to beat that record today. What are we at? Four? Five? Six. Now you can see that you can get a lot of material out of a very small quantity. I only dissolved a few grams of, of the uh, acid and the, the hexane diamine in here, but we get a tremendous amount of material out of here. So on a large scale, this is done not with a whole bunch of people doing this, of course, but <laughs> <laughs> that would certainly be a minimum wage job, wouldn't it? Well, this stuff comes flying out of a machine as a, as a thread, and it gets washed because this is actually an acidic, quite an acidic solution. It gets washed to remove the acid. It gets dried, um, and then it gets spun into uh, larger uh, collections of fibers. I don't know how long I'm going to do this here. <laughs> Obviously, put too much of this stuff in. Uh, but on a large scale, the chemistry is exactly the same. So it's uh, making of fibers, which are then spun and made into fabrics. Uh, come on, let's get ridiculous. <laughs> it's getting shorter too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you probably can just pick up a big ooh. There we go. Well anyway, there's many meters there. You probably got twenty or thirty meters of this stuff. You wouldn't have expected it out of a little bit of solution. And on a large scale they make much f finer fibers as well too, so they'd get miles of this stuff or kilometers, I guess we have to say these days. So that's, that's making, that's making, uh, whew, it stinks too. It's the diamino, uh, diamino hexane that stinks. It's kind of like putrescine. Remember, the putrescine was diamino propane. This isn't too far off. It smells like a dead animal here. So that's making a difunctional, a difunctional amide. <laughs> 